Hey everyone, I'm Tyler with eRigging.com and if you're going to be starting your first rigging project where you're going to be using cable, today's video is for you. We're going to go over five different helpful tips on how to safely handle your cable for your rigging project. If you're new to our channel and you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more helpful rigging tips. If you have questions regarding anything not included in this video, we have a huge library of videos and technical resource articles on our website linked in the description. When you handle your cable, you'll want to make sure that you wear a pair of safety glasses and durable work gloves so that you don't end up with an eye injury or accidentally sticking yourself with the end of the cable. When you first receive your cable from e-rigging, you'll notice that the spool is wrapped with plastic wrap to prevent the cable from unspooling itself. So when you unwrap that plastic wrap, you'll want to make sure that you do it carefully so that the cable doesn't unravel itself off of the spool. Once the plastic wrap is almost all the way off, grab the end of the cable and put a little bit of pressure on it so it can't freely unwind itself. And then either tuck it underneath the spool temporarily or use a piece of duct tape or electrical tape to secure the end of the cable to the spool. For most cable configurations, unreeling is fairly simple. Place the reel on a flat smooth surface and pull the cable from the front of the reel. Never unwrap the cable from the top of the reel as this can cause kinks and tangles. Cutting cable with the wrong tool is tedious and usually leads to poor cuts. For instance, using a pair of bolt cutters will pinch and crush the cable rather than make a clean cut. So make sure that you have the right tools at your disposal. When selecting a cutter, check to make sure that your cutter is rated for the diameter cable you plan to cut. Having the right cable cutter on hand will protect the ends of your cable from damage and save you time and hassle. The ends of frayed cable are sharp edges that can pierce skin and make it virtually impossible to use. After cutting the end of your cable, it's a good idea to seize the end of the cable to prevent any fraying. You can use electrical tape, duct tape, or even another piece of small gauge wire. Seizing cable will protect it from fraying, especially if you plan on using the cut cable later on or need to transport the pre-cut cable. If you found this information helpful, go ahead and give this video a like, and if you have any cable handling techniques that you want us to know about, drop us a comment below. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.